very much. Well, now to a story you'll see only on seven. DC police are looking for a man who sexually assaulted a woman next to an elementary school after she dropped her child off at school. It happened this morning on 48th place in Northeast DC. Jennifer Donald live from that school with the latest. Jen. Well, Allison, the school is just about 20 yards away. This is where the crime happened. She had just dropped the child off at school. And as she was walking across this bridge behind me, which you can see is not lit except for our own light down here, she was forced at gunpoint underneath that bridge. And that is where police say the attack occurred. Fear filled mother's hearts outside Maud Ayton Elementary in Northeast upon learning a young mother was raped at gunpoint after she dropped off her child at the school just hours earlier. I'm really concerned about that, especially um, being a single mom. If the crime weren't shocking enough, the victim's brother told ABC 7 News off camera the man responsible may also be a parent at the same school. Police sources confirmed detectives are investigating that possibility. By all accounts, the young mother, just 17 years old, did not know her attacker, and an intense search for the man is underway. Nowadays, it's not safe anywhere. Police explained it happened when the mother dropped her three-year-old child off at school. Just yards away, the man approached her, pulled out a gun, and forced her beneath a nearby bridge and sexually assaulted her with the gun pointed at her head the entire time. I do have a three-year-old, and she's actually outside now over there, So, but I don't drop her off in the morning as my husband do or my older son. Police explain it happened when the mother dropped her three year old child off at school. Just yards away, the man approached her, pulled out a gun and forced her beneath a nearby bridge where he sexually assaulted her with the gun pointed at her head the entire time. When the attacker left, she ran to get help and called police. DC public schools referred us to Metropolitan Police and did not comment. The young mother, we're told, was transported to an area hospital for treatment. So obviously a shocking uh, twist there. This victim's brother telling us that uh, he said that the attacker is a parent, a father at this school. Again, we checked this with police sources and they tell us that detectives are indeed investigating that possibility. They are working on this case around the clock. Reporting live from Northeast, I'm Jennifer Donnell in ABC 7 News.